Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Laura Stapleton and I'm here today to talk to you about the ADDIE framework. It's a great instructional design tool that can help you develop all kinds of, of instructional needs that you might have. So let's take a look. All right, so here's an overview of the entire process. It is composed of five phases, uh, analyze, design, develop, implement, and evaluate. That is the acronym for ADDIE, but it allows you to really think of all design considerations throughout this process. It can be used for a variety of instruction, a face-to-face, -face, online training, and so forth. We are gonna look at each of the individual phases. All right, so analyze. This is really where we start to fact find, understand the need. You know, someone or we have presented ourselves with this opportunity for the instruction, but what's the goal? Uh, what do we want to have at the end of it? Who are our learners? What characteristics or special needs do they have? Um, wh what is their background coming in? All of those things are germane to designing the instruction that meets their needs. What constraints do we have? Uh, do we have uh, lack of resources? Um, do we have lack of technology? Do we have a lot of technology? So those kinds of things are important that we understand. But it's really just about problem identification at this point and also meeting with any stakeholders to understand what they want to get out of this training as well. So the design is really where we want to now take this analysis and start to make this come to life. As far as broad strokes, we want to create an outline, um, a, a outline of our learning intervention, what the lessons look like, how long do we think that they should be, what assessments will they have, and so forth. But all of this hinges on one important thing, and that is the defining of the learning objectives. That is really what's going to drive this train, because we're always going to look back to that and say, is what we've developed allowing learners to do this or to master this or to know this. And that's the most important part is understanding what's the goal, what's the objective, what should the learners be able to do? And we'll constantly come back to that. Now, the develop is, you know, really where we're developing these things. We're um, solidifying the instructional method. Uh, we're looking at a particular product, whether it's Blackboard or what have you. We are determining what multimedia that we will be using. Um, we are determining or developing our evaluation or assessment. And we also can get feedback uh, during this to make sure that that is coming together. Um, before we actually implement it. So we can, you know, certainly I always advise, take a look at this, is this clear, what have you. All right, now the implementation, this is where we actually want to deliver the training, get a feel for whether or not this is, um, you know, testing this out. Um, we want to communicate with the learners. We want to collect the data to see if they are mastering this. Uh, we want to prepare any frequently asked questions um, that, you know, uh, that maybe they have if this is an online program so that they are autonomous and can and not struggle. Are there any manuals that need to be developed? But it's the actual execution, um, the implementation of, of the fruits of our labor. And here is the evaluation. Now, evaluation has been a part of almost all of the phases. Um, we thought very early in the design about how are we going to assess, how are we going to evaluate. And here, we so we certainly under, understand that it is a part of each phase, but we want to do the evaluation. We want to have a continuous learning where we constantly uh, can make updates to this training based on what we find out. Um, from those post-training assessments, is it is our learning uh, module or instruction may help um, helping students to master whatever it was the objectives um, you know were defined as? If it's not, we need to make a change. Um, maybe 
it is mastering that, but it's just kludgy, or maybe we could do it better, or maybe we don't like this particular product that we used, and we want to tweak that. So there's a variety of tweaks that you might want to make before the next iteration. But that's the one benefit about Addy. It is an iterative type of, of process, so you can go ahead and make changes and make that learning better and better. Now, there's a, as I said, there's a wide variety of instructional models that you can use. This is just one that is very easy to implement uh, as it does guide you through the entire process. But if you ever have any questions about designing instruction in general, uh, you can certainly contact the MU Online, the Design Center. I've included the phone number, the email, and so forth. And if you want to contact myself, I'm an online faculty liaison. I'd be happy to answer any questions as well. So I look forward to talking to you again soon, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.